A quest to save the world from sin and a mix of old school 2D action games. We take a look at the video games releasing this week. First is the Final Fantasy X and X-2 remaster. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't and they get to Xanarkin, even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? Yuna, she knew what she was doing. When she chose to man, this a series has been out for a while. A in Final time. Fantasy X, a young man named Titus is warped into the world of Spira by a mammoth flying creature named Sin. He follows a summoner named Yuna and her guardians on her pilgrimage to defeat Sin. But Titus, in love with Yuna, doesn't know that she will die if Sin is defeated. He must make a choice when conflicted with his love for her and the future of Spira. Final Fantasy X and X2 are rated T for teen. Axiom Verge releases on the PC this Thursday. In this game, you follow Trace, a man who was involved in a near fatal event that left him unconscious. Once he realizes, or rather he wakes up, he realizes he's now in an ancient, advanced, and unfriendly world. This game borrows from the old school games such as Contra, Metroid, and Castlevania. Axiom Verge is rated T14. Project Cars releases on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One today after a PC release last week. Project Cars is a racing game that promises to be all things to both your casual gamer and someone who wants a real driving simulator. In this game, you can pick any car you'd like from the start. You don't have to start with a slow car and work your way up. Three career goals are available for the player to reach. Cars range from American Muscle to GT to Le Mans to Open Wheelers. To a bunch of others, Project Cars releases at retail and download for $59.99. It's rated E for everyone. Good racing game. Yeah, it is. It's gotten some great reviews. We'll have a full list for this game, or for this week's games, excuse me, on our website, 41NBC.com slash Daybreak.